finished. And our yearbook design is done. Huh, check that off my to-do list. 4.30 already? Oh, no. I still have to sell candy bars for the robotics team, organize Pierce's sneaker collection, walk my neighbor's four golden retrievers, and finish a pile of homework that makes Mount Everest look like an anthill. There's something else I was supposed to do today, but I forgot to put it on the list. Is this <gasps> where you've been, Polly? You missed out on the spelling bee. Shawnee, I was supposed to cheer you on, but I totally spaced. Oh, I'm sorry. How'd you do? It all came down to the final word. Minuscule. A trap. You're mini, you think M-I-N-I, right? Mm -hmm. Turns out, minuscule starts with M-I-N-U. Our Shawnee didn't miss a letter. <gasps> She's going to nationals. Studying Latin roots paid off. <gasps> Shawnee, congrats. But I can't believe I missed that. I got caught up doing these yearbook layouts and a bunch of other things. My to-do list kind of got out of control this week. That happens to you every week lately. You've got to start saying no when people ask for too many favors. I'm not doing favors, I'm helping people. Mm. As a volunteer, mm. for, uh, free. And who'd you help hang up that pink flamingo? Huh? Where'd that come from? <gasps> oh. Dear Polly, Lila, and Shawnee, I represent Tropotopia, an island paradise in the pocket world. We're in terrible danger. A curse is making island residents disappear. You must save us. Uh, not sure I follow. Does it explain more about this curse? No time to explain. Please come before the island and its residents are lost forever. Sincerely, the Princess of Tropotopia. She gave us portal coordinates for the pocket world. This sounds serious, Polly. Seriously adventurous? This Tropotopia place needs heroes. <gasps> Help is on the way. Tiny Power! <laughs> this would be an ideal spring break spot. <laughs> Except it's kind of dead. Hello, Princess of Tropotopia? Maybe everyone's hiding? I can tell you what they didn't hide. A treasure chest. <laughs> oh, I'm too bright, too bright! Closer! <laughs> Let my friends go! Uh, 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 Lila! Shawnee! I'll get you out of there, I promise! Are you Polly <gasps> Pocket? One of the Pocket World heroes? I'm Polly, but I don't feel like much of a hero. My friends are trapped inside this chest. I could get them out. If only I had my strength. Ever since the ruin of Tropotopia, I've been too weak to climb that tall banana tree. Oh, I'm starving. How long since you've eaten? Hours. Days, who knows? <sighs> These bananas give you back your strength. Thanks. Oh, I'm faint. I should lie down. Could you repair my hammock? Um, sure, of course. I'll be done in a micro minute. You're too kind, Polly. About saving my friends. Uh... About that. We need my dear friend the monkey to help us. Really? Where do we find the monkey? The next island over. Just repair that broken sailboat. Then you can cross the entire bay oh. and ferry the monkey all the way back. All right, uh, I'll fix the boat, get the monkey, and when I get back... Yes, your friends, of course. old pal. <laughs> Banana. Okay, Sloth. Are you feeling better enough to help me? I was, but the hot, hot sun has drained me again. Could you fix us some shade? Maybe with a big leaf from up the banana tree. You mean the super tall banana tree that I already climbed once today? Sure, fine. <gasps> Actually, what I meant 
it was... no. I'm sorry. Did you just say no? That's right. No. N to the O, no. Nah. -uh. Well, this feels good. I've done enough favors for you. I got you food, a hammock, and a monkey pal. You can get your own shade. I need to rescue my friends. Shawnee, <laughs> Lila, are you okay? Polly Pocket, you have broken the curse of Tropitopia. We owe you thanks and a free vacation. You sent us the flamingo invite, didn't you? But how'd I break the curse? You put your foot down. Only an act of pure willpower could break the curse, I have to say. You are frustratingly patient under stress. Which is why you deserve a vacation. And before you worry about homework or to-do lists, remember, time works differently in the pocket worlds. Of course! While we're here, time is barely passing it all back home. We have plenty of time to spare. Yeah! <laughs> Fun. Uh, thank you. Do come back whenever you need a mini vacation, Pocket World Heroes. Sounds like we just found our spring break spot. Go big! My locket stored Tropitopia's location. We can go back anytime. And you were right. Only two minutes have passed. Thank you, General Relativity. So, Polly, how's your to-do list? I, uh, need to let some people know that I won't be available tonight. It won't be easy, but sometimes you gotta know when to say no. The aquarium! Finally! I've been waiting for this day my entire life! Today's the day I finally meet a real live narwhal! That's the one that kinda looks like a unicorn crust for the dolphin, right? Exactly, Lila. Narwhals aren't actually dolphins. They're whales. And that unicorn horn is a tusk, like elephants have. It's like an overgrown tooth, except it's not used for eating, or so we think it may be used for something else. Maybe mating purposes, but we don't exactly know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Take a breath, Shawneepedia. <laughs> Save some talking points for the aquarium. You're a trusty guide to the wonderful world of all things aquatic. Especially narwhals. Narwhal lovers, roll out! Hey, Shawnee, huh? wait up! Hey, Nicholas! Ready for a day of mind-blowing narwhal knowledge? I'm only half sure what that is, but I can't wait to learn about it from you, Shawnee. Oh, huh? and I think you left this on the bus. Hmm, never seen this before. That's weird. It was in your seat. Figured maybe you forgot it. Does this suspiciously adorable otter remind you of something? Pocket World Heroes! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this some kind of Pocket World artifact? Good instincts, Nicholas. These seem to pop up lately whenever someone needs help in a Pocket World. We just need to open this. Oh, look at this soft little belly! Whoa! <gasps> a Pocket Portal. But a portal to where? Uh, there's no note or anything. Well, wherever that portal leads, it's my next killer scoop. Who said you were coming with us? Aw, you wouldn't leave me behind, would you? <laughs> of course not. Who else is gonna snap pics of our excellent adventures? Well, if the Pocket World needs help, I guess we take a leap of faith. Do you think we'll get back in time to still see the narwhal? Of course. Remember, you discovered that time works differently in Pocket Worlds. A whole day in there is like a minute out here. <gasps> oh, right! Thank you, General Relativity. Let's go! Tiny Power! In this pocket world, we can breathe underwater. Ugh. Ugh. What the? How is this even possible? The water here isn't water. It's an oxygen-rich PFC liquid capable of supporting ventilation for land and sea creatures. TLDR, science is magic. Okay, let's uh, see what this sea has going on. Oh. Uh, hate to say it, but for a pocket world, this 
place is a dump. Like, literally. I have a feeling that's why we're here. It's so sad. It looks like someone used this place as their own personal pocket dump and just abandoned it. How rude. I can't believe anyone could be so careless. Believe it. Back home, people pollute our oceans too. It's a serious problem. Polluting is so trashy. <laughs> Uh, uh, but what can we do about it? We start by cleaning up. <gasps> Poor little crab. Don't worry, we're here to help. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, there's so much clutter, it's trapping the animals that live here. We have to free them. This is such a big mess, it's overwhelming. We can do it if we work together. You're the resident oceanic expert, Shawnee. How about you be the captain of the cleanup crew? Captain? I like the sound of that. Let's start with all these non-biodegradable bottles. Everyone grab bags! Little penguin, no place where we can recycle these. Ah, ah, ah. Aw, thanks. Come on, crew. <laughs> we did it. <sighs> Way to go, Captain Shawnee. I can't believe this is the same place. What a glow up. Shawnee, quick, we have a problem. <gasps> no. Easy, friend, easy. Polly, crap me. Good work, Krabby. Go for a swim together. Seriously? Uh, do you mind if I... Shawnee, you waited your whole life to meet a narwhal. Take all the time you want. Best day ever! <laughs> Let's capture this memory. Smile. Wow. <laughs> the only other time I've seen Shawnee this excited was when she rescued Captain Rocco from the Y-Girls. Today is even better. Captain Rocco was a fictional character, but this narwhal is really actually real. Oh, thank you so much for showing me around. Lead on. <laughs> Go big! Coordinates saved. Another pocket world we can visit anytime from anywhere. And we will. That was my favorite adventure yet. I can't believe I'm friends with a narwhal! Are we sure I'm not dreaming? Here's your proof. These pics are incredible. After all that excitement, the aquarium must seem passe, huh? Not at all. We may have cleaned up an ocean in a pocket world, but there's still a ton of work to do here cleaning oceans on Earth. We can go learn more about how we can help. Narwhal lovers, roll out! Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Really good. I, uh, what if I'm not ready for the talent show tomorrow? Ha! <laughs> you should have seen me yesterday. Lila can teach anyone to dance. Let's see where you're at, Polly. Mind if I film you? We'll watch the playback together and I can point out what you need to work on. The camera adds a little pressure, but okay. Uh, where should I start? Start by loosening up your neck and shoulders. Then find the groove. There you go. All right. Let's add funk. Show us your funky chicken. Okay. Uh, 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 oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. What are we witnessing? Clocktastrophe. But I do admire her commitment. How is that? We have our work cut out for us. <gasps> oh, no. My funky chicken is all chicken, no funk. I can't perform in a talent show next month, let alone tomorrow. 
You two could win best in show. If I'm there, I'll make a fool of us. We aren't trying to win best in show. The point is having some fun together. That's right. I play sports to win, but I dance for fun. Have fun with us, Polly. I appreciate both of you, but it won't be fun for me. Now that I've seen that video of myself. <sighs> Weird. This speaker should be off. Look! Up in the sky! Oh, I don't think this is alien tech. I think it's from a pocket world. Another pocket world in trouble? Maybe saving a pocket world will restore your self-confidence. Hmm. Pocket world portal confirmed. Let's boogie. Tiny a disco dance town. Oh, the perfect occasion to debut my talent show outfit. But, uh, where's the funky music? Huh? <gasps> uh, oh. The skate rink is dead on arrival. So is everywhere else we checked. <laughs> Maybe we're here to bring the groove back? The music is gone, and it's all your fault, Roller Ruby. Dance Town should be a, a Funkadelic Fantasia full of fun friends. And instead, it's a deserted disaster. No VIPs tonight. Don't mess with Roller Ruby. I practice Kerpow. Sorry to disturb, Roller Ruby, but my name's Polly Pocket. My friends and I are here to help you get your music back. Who said I need the music back? Hmm. Um, didn't you send us a disco ball so we'd come help you? You mean the disco ball I angrily checked into a pocket portal? If you don't mind me asking, what did the disco ball do? It reminded me of everything I'm not anymore. I've got no hustle, no jive, I... Roller Ruby, Dancing Queen of Dance Town, have lost my rhythm. I can't dance. So the magic mirror ball has no spin, and the music has no groove. Tried every move in the phone book, my greatest hits, the mirror ball won't spin. I've lost my touch. Hmm. Maybe you need a new routine? If I could come up with one, but I'm totally uninspired. All I can think about is failure. I know just how you feel. You do? Yeah, but failure doesn't mean we quit. We just have to try again and again until we break through. When I'm down, my BFFs remind me that I never have to quit. I wish my BFFs were here. I sent everyone in Dance Town away. Uh, can't you just invite them back? I'm too embarrassed to face them without my rhythm. Hmm. If you're looking for rhythm, I see plenty of mirrors on this rank. Perfect for practicing. Polly, are you ready to try again? Yeah. I actually think the skates will help me relax. How about you, Roller Ruby? If you can find some better music without magic, all I have is this. I have this. Oh, are all the speakers in your world so tiny? We don't need a big sound. Just enough to feel the groove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, Polly? You can dance. You can jive. I'm having the time of my life. Come on and join us, Roller Ruby. Oh, hey. The Dancing Queen is back, baby! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Holy Lila Shawnee! Thank you for bringing the groove back to Dance Town. You are Pocket World heroes! Please, use this ring to practice and play as long as you'd like! We have bowling lanes, arcade games, popcorn, and treats! My Groovy Gala is your Groovy Gala! 
I say we go bowling next? Right after we get those treats. I'm glad we decided to try again. Me too. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to apologize to my friends and invite them back to Dance Town. Go big! That place was so cool. We should bring Nicholas there. He'd love it. My locket saved the coordinates so we can go back anytime. And I think we should work Roller Ruby's disco ball into our routine. Does that mean you're definitely dancing with us in the talent show? It's gonna be fun, right? What could be more important than having fun dancing with my best friends? The answer is obviously nothing. Then who's ready for more practice, huh? <laughs> Let's groove. before, but uh, post kerpow gains? Whoo, we are talking serious kicks. I heard your penalty kicks tore a hole through the net twice. That's true. My kicks cause property damage, but I only use them for a noble cause. Taking little tin soccer all the way to state finals. <laughs> we'll cheer you on the whole way. What's this? Cheer tryouts. Maybe you can try out Lila. I bet you'd be an awesome cheerleader. Yeah, right. I'm Lila the Goal Destroyer. <laughs> Why would I give up winning the game to stand on the sidelines cheering other people on? Uh, you mean the way Shawnee and I stand on the sidelines cheering you on? No, no, no. No, friends like you make games better. Cheerleaders just take attention away from the real athletes. Like, how hard can it be? Uh, oh, give me a B, give me an L, give me an E, G, H. What is it spell? Blech. Hey, Lila, that's not fair, and it's judgmental. Cheerleaders have an important role to play. Yeah, and cheerleaders work hard, too. It takes athleticism, dedication, and teamwork to perfect those routines. But cheerleaders take themselves so seriously. It's not like the fate of the game depends on them. Looks like the universe is sending you a sign. Or maybe a cheerleading pocket world is calling for heroes. Don't tell me there's a pocket world dedicated to cheerleading. Tiny You're a cheerleader. Huh, not bad. I can wear this outfit when I'm cheering you on at soccer. Oh, my palms! you've got the cold. Thank you for coming. I'm Carissa. Hope you're ready to C-H-E-R. I'm Polly. This is Shawnee and Lila. Welcome to Cheer Island. An elite cheer fairy training facility. Did you say cheer fairy? That's right. We inspire cheerleaders to be their most spirited selves. Cheer fairy training starts next week. I came early to practice. I'm eligible to be a squad captain. But first, I need to prove I'm ready to lead with passion and pizzazz. Look, cheer squads have captains. Of course. Who else directs the cheers? Getting a captain's bow takes hard work. A trainee has to excel in every single category. My first year, I was the lowest ranked trainee out of 200 others. I had completely underestimated the challenge of Cheer Island. But I've practiced cheering every day since then. I also do kerpow. It's all about the legs. Ooh, Lila does kerpow. And a lot of other sports. Me too. That's what got me into cheerleading. I love playing sports so much. Now I compete to help the other people play their best game. Oh, wow. You really believe in cheerleading for noble reasons. You're not saying you don't believe in cheerleading, are you? No. <laughs> uh, let's just say she's developing an appreciation for it. <sighs> oh, good. For a second there, I thought you were one of those cheerleading is a real sport people. <laughs> 
If I can turn your ragtag crew of adventurers into a proper cheerleading unit, maybe I'll earn my bow this year. Sign me up! I'm ready to learn something new. Uh, I've been to lots of boot camps. What's the worst a cheer camp can do to me? Yeah, Cheer Island is far more challenging. Okay, squad, your training starts with 25 warm-up flaps around the gym. Run, squad, run! <laughs> Let's do some basic stretches. <laughs> I can do this all day. Now we need to establish a solid base of gymnastic skills. Good flips, Shawnee. Do 50 more. <sighs> okay. Huh? Whoa, whoa. You okay, Polly? Yeah. Good. Practice until you can get it right at least 10 times in a row. How are you faring, Lila? I can do this all day. Squad, today's training was mere baby steps compared to what we do next. This is where we bring it. Prove we're in it, too. Win it. Ready? B, excited. B, E, excited. B, excited. B, E, excited. B, excited. What time is it, squad? Hold up. Wait a minute, let us put some spirit in it. Tick, tick, boom! Battle stations! Cheer power! Did I? Oh, I got a bow. A real bow? The cheer fairies must be watching it. I did it! We really did it! How can I ever thank you? Just to give you props, Carissa. Cheerleading was such a competitive sport. <laughs> you put the work in teamwork. <laughs> Respect. Thank you, Lila. Go big! <sighs> Let's just get it out of the way. I was wrong about cheerleading. We told you so. But to be fair, we also underestimated how tough Cheer Island would be. <laughs> you said it. Let's go to my house. I'll make us all protein smoothies. <laughs> Cheerleading takes discipline, all-around strength, teamwork. <laughs> but I was too busy judging it to see all that. Now I get why my coach always says, be curious, not judgmental. We couldn't ask for a more perfect night to watch the meteor shower. Ah, uh, yeah. Clear skies, hot cocoa, uh, can't lose. And since we're camping, <laughs> we can stay up as late as we want. <laughs> Are we, like, 100% sure we're safe sleeping in the great outdoors? Yeah. I mean, we are in my backyard. Right. Can I be honest? I've never slept outside before. So many things could go wrong. We could be attacked by a bear. And I wouldn't even be awake to wrestle it. I should call my mom and go home. That's okay if you want, Bella. But at least stay for the meteors. We should see them soon. Yeah. Sip some cocoa, enjoy the show, and then see how you feel. Okay. I guess. <gasps> ah, it's starting! Ah, funny trajectory for a comet. Wait, that's not a comet. <gasps> it's coming right for us! Get out! Okay? Hmm. We almost got blown to pieces by uh, a teddy bear? Here we go again. Yeah, dramatic entrance for this one, though. Uh, why are none of you freaked out by a teddy bear falling from the sky? Wait, is this another pocket thing? <laughs> we wanted to tell you tonight. We're kind of pocket world heroes. <laughs> Objects like this keep appearing and opening portals to new pocket worlds that need our help. So far, we've helped out a bunch of them. Camping might not be your thing, but you're pocket world hero material, Bella. Come have an adventure with us. Sure. Tiny power! This place. 
doesn't just feel tiny, it feels magical. Huh. Speaking of magical, look! Glad you can make it. And you brought a new friend. Your Highnesses, Roller Ruby and the Princess of Tropotopia. Allow me to introduce the Duchess Bella. Welcome, Bella, and all to Slumber Party Haven, where the stars are always shooting. Wow. A special pocket world where we can stay up all night and goof around with magic. Which is why we called. The princess didn't believe we could turn the moon into a disco ball, and I thought that'd be a far-out <laughs> sight to see. So we combined powers, cast a spell, and... Well... Oh, let me guess. The spell backfired? Shooting stars stole our magic powers and scattered them across four different pocket worlds. And if we leave Party Haven to collect the stars, our powers will be permanently lost. <gasps> Want us to get those stars for you? Which pocket worlds did they go to? <sighs> Tropotopia! We're back! Uh, what's that thing slowly coming toward us? That's our old pal, the sloth. Polly and friends! The princess! She sent us here. We're on a quest to find shooting stars for her. Notice any crash landings lately? Well, yes. This way. Okay. Yes. <gasps> yeah! That star landed yesterday. I feel the princess's magic up there, but... Uh... I need a few days to climb up. We don't have days. I'll climb it. Whew, that tree's a tall order, Bella. Well, so am I. Watch out below! Oh, nice work, Bella. Pink star? Tiny power! Where to next? An undersea pocket world. My friend the narwhal lives there. Your friends with the narwhal? That's my favorite marine mammal. I'll open the portal. <laughs> <laughs> To run, but after being stuck here for a while, we need to let our friends know we're okay. As a thank you for your heroism, Slumber Party Haven is yours. Really? Like our own secret clubhouse? Thank you so much. We should all thank you, Bella. You were the MVP of today's adventure. Like the way you threw me from the disco store, and the way you pulled that teal star out of the sea floor and climbed the tallest tree. Yeah. You even impressed Carissa, the toughest cheer captain alive, all in one day. Excellent debut for a pocket world hero. Oh. <sighs> okay, girls. We should fix up this campsite. Bella, if you're uncomfortable sleeping outside, it's okay to call your mom. Thanks, Polly. But after visiting so many pocket worlds in one day, spending a night under the stars with my best friends doesn't seem so scary. Instead, I feel... Lucky to be here. <laughs> and we're lucky to have you. If you think today was something, just wait. You never know where we'll go next. <laughs> 